Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I'm going to be continuing with some more Terraria. So last time we did a whole bunch of exploring and found a whole bunch of stuff so that now we can pretty much do exactly the same again. But except from this time, we should have a bit of better gear. So I'm just going to set all of this up in here. So we have iron, we have tin. Uh, this copper and silver. There isn't really much we can do with that right now. A tin pickaxe. I can probably make some stuff out of the iron. Let's have a look. Iron sword. I have silver. Okay. I probably a new pickaxe. Can I not make an iron pickaxe? Does that require more? It probably does. So I'll just have to go and find some more of that. But last time we had quite a fun adventure. And this time since I've last played, I've actually been playing quite a bit on my own. So I know a whole lot more about the game. Which I guess is a good thing, because now I know what I'm doing. And I'm just going to sort out all of this inventory while we wait. So I actually have... A little bit of an idea what's going where. So we have some marble, which I think we might build the base out of because it looks really nice. I don't have a teleportation item just yet. So I'll use these recall potions. Um, a few building things, a bow, which helps quite a bit. This umbrella, cobweb, can just go in here. So, more exploration, I think, seems the way to go. Oh, yeah, I have a few things in here. Let's take the potions and stuff out of here. Put the weapons items at the bottom. I kind of want this to be more of a dump chest more than anything. We can summon the eye whenever we want. <laughs> Probably not going to do that just yet. The eye of Cthulhu. I know it's Cthulhu, by the way, I just said it like that for uh, a randomness. So, this ice, um, we'll just uh, move these down for now so that I have a bit of extra space. And I think we should be good, right? I'm not missing anything, am I? Yes? Um... <laughs> uh, there we go, I had to sort all of that out. So with that out of the way, I have not explored the top land very much, have I? There's a few things I need to do. One of them is actually build the houses for the NPCs. But the probably more important one is actually go out and explore the world. So let's just deal with all of these zombies. I'm not sure if I'm going to make it out here before morning, because... This is a lot. I don't have much money on me doing now. That's good. I don't want to go and lose it all. Right, so I'll head to the right. And hopefully find a bunch of stuff above ground. And hopefully not corruption, because that's the kind of... Uh, not corruption, crimson, because that's the kind of world I uh, spawned in. And as far as I remember, I haven't, like, discovered over here very much last time. So, I can't remember my reasons for coming back. It's probably because of too many, like, zombies out here. Which now I'm a lot more adjusted to dealing with. I'll get a, a light out so that it actually reveals the map instead of, like, just darkness. Ooh, okay. Um, not friendly. Mom. Oh. oh. I need a bit more practice with a bow. Did I not make a yo-yo? Really? Because last time I played I had a yo-yo and yo-yos are really, really powerful. No yo-yo. Right, I'm going to make one. I think it's just uh, silk. 
hope I'm right. It might be more than the silk I have, though. Yes, let's go get some more silk. Where did I get this silk from? Oh, wow, I didn't actually go down that far either. Okay. Let's go down there, shall we? Have a little exploration. Into the caves yet again. <laughs> There's not quite a lot of what Terraria is, though. But I like that. So let's go on the expedition for the yo-yo. That's probably what this episode is going to be called, because that is going to be what I'm doing. So the kind of aim here is mainly to get the silk. There's one you can get from Hell, which is something, but I can't remember the name. I think it's Hellfire Yo-Yo or something like that. I know that's Hellfire Arrows, isn't it? Um, then there's a few others. One you can find in caves. And ice uh, caves chests are usually quite a bit better. How can I not break those with a torch out? I like this, like ice on one side and dirt on the other. Spooky. Right, so just breaking a whole bunch of chests for a while. And as I said, like if you see me playing this a lot less cautiously and a lot better this time, it's because I've been playing it off screen. I seem to do that with games I play. I sort of go into those phases where I enjoy them and then I end up playing them off screen. So I'm stuck with this bow and arrow for the time being until I can uh, get this yo yo. So spider caves are really good for yo-yos, but really bad for me surviving. So not too sure. Oh, is that? Yeah, that's cobwebs. Okay. The quest for the yo-yo might not actually last that long. That's a lot of cobwebs, and I'm not sure how many I need, but I'm pretty sure that should cover it. I won't head back just yet. I'll have an explore in the caves a bit. Oh, I don't even have a grappling hook. Damn. I'm quite far behind then. Maybe I will have to head back. I have ropes. I'll go with these. Okay. I do have an umbrella. Which I guess is a little bit of a weird thing to be carrying around with you, unless it's raining. Iron. Yes, please. It's another thing. I just realised I should be mining a lot more. I sort of get into habits where I'm like, oh, I've got enough ores in my other world, so I just walk around without collecting them. Right now, this kind of stuff's pretty important. Silver's the best thing to get right now. Is this just... I'm pretty sure that that's just uh, stone. Oh, no. And one more. Right, here we go. Some more iron. I think silver is going to be quite a big aim. I might want to go a bit further down though so I can get a hook. Or at least try and get one if I can even deal with a skeleton at the, in the position I'm in. Or a viking that I just saw out the corner of my eye. I'm not sure if that's what I died to last time I went in the caves. Or oh, it might have just been Medusa, seeing as I named the episode Medusa. Ooh, got some nice ores here. Getting some more silver. So silver, yes, because I'm going to need some more armor. I'm surprised I haven't really built any yet, apart from a tin helmet. Yeah, so down here we have another one. Oh, nice. Can shoot through here, can't I? Yeah. 
Ice skates. Well, I think I'll wear them for now, but if I find anything else, I'll switch them out because they're not the most important things, but they're pretty cool if I don't really have anything else. Guarding uh, is a plus three defense. That's uh, worthless, but I'll wait because I can sell it. I just realized. Four damage. Yeah, I'm actually going to keep that. The extra defense won't be that important after I build some more stuff. Um, let me just throw a bomb down here. It uncovers the area and kills nothing. <laughs> I was hoping for it to kill something. Um, I could head back, but just to be sure on the cobweb front, I just spotted these. That's it. Apart from this ruby. Could run the water down. There's this gold here, which I kind of want. We uh, kind of need to find the crimson so that I can break one of those crimson parts. And then we can get meteors and stuff and transition from there. Let's just teleport back. It's a lot of iron ore. We have a few potions and some stuff. Okay. That's good news. Let's have a look at what I can build. Let's just throw this back so that I can just hover over this furnace. We can actually make the yo-yo. That's good news. So the quest for the yo-yo is a success. Make lead. One bar of silver. And two copper. So looking at that, we've got a pretty decent hole there. We've got the yo-yo, which is going to replace the ropes. Um, I could do with a grappling hook, so actually getting a hook from down below wouldn't be such a bad idea. What else did I want to make? Uh, let's throw this back out, because most of this stuff isn't going to have enough to do anything for me. That's tin, that's lead. There's some iron. Um, some silver. A ruby, which I'll just throw on the top row. Mining. Yeah, I think that's pretty set up. I'll go put the angel statue up here. And it's kind of temporary for now, though. So... Yeah, iron, let's have a look. I can make the chains which I need, so I'm just gonna make those whilst I remember. What else do we have? An iron pickaxe. Um, yes, I think I could do with having one of those. I can't make any more armor yet because I don't have enough of anything else. Um, yeah, I'll go with the iron pick. We could just throw this pickaxe away, but maybe making the rooms for the guests would be a bit of a better idea. So, I think starting off now, I could have sort of like a, a passage here. So if I have, let's have a look. Two, three, four, four within a space. Yeah, okay, this is going to look really weird for the time being. Um, and I don't actually have that much wood. Right, so this should work. With the gap being here, meaning I have to extend this out one more. I think I have enough for this. True, that might be a little bit of a waste of materials, but for now it's fine. So I'll have it here. I think that might be the right height for the guest rooms. Get a torch up. Now I can't exactly remember the length of it. I 
I think that should be fine, right? So this should be one room. I might extend it one more, actually. And I'll have wooden roofs and stone floors. I usually would do it the other way around, but it's due to materials. So let's have a look in this chest. That's a lot of stone, right? We're fine for stone for now. I could make some backgrounds. Although maybe wooden walls is pretty important. Now that I think about it. I want to stick with a sort of theme. Possibly. I'm going to need to get some more wood no matter what. But for now I'll just make it a stone. Because I have to make a door and I have to make chests and stuff. And I also have to make backgrounds. But I think making the backgrounds out of stone for now wouldn't be a problem. Stone walls, dirt walls, ice brick, snow brick, red brick, grey brick. What is red, red, red brick? Okay. Well, it's not a wall, so I'll just go with a few stone walls. 200. There we go. Don't need umbrella just yet. I do, however, need this. It's going to lighten up the place a little bit. But also make it look a lot worse, unfortunately. Until I get this background in down here. So I would do the background in the main room, but the thing is that these rooms actually require backgrounds to get people into them. So I'll go out and cut down some trees. I'll probably make it at night time so it's a bit more interesting. Come on, this background removal is the most boring thing in the world. <laughs> so the stone walls in here, then we have the chairs and stuff obviously. I might move these torches up so that I can build more rooms next to the sides of them. Either side, I mean. Oh, whoops, I'm breaking the ones below it. I think this should be a fine sized room. But the only thing is, the guide's gonna move into this one, and I'm not gonna get anybody new. So I'm gonna have to make another one if I want somebody new. Right, let's find these torches. Uh-oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> oh no. Uh. <laughs> uh, the brilliance. Right. Now I'm just blowing the place up. And I didn't mean to cover that up and dirt. Uh, it'll be fine for now though. So I have one more wood brick. Which isn't even a brick. Uh, what am I doing? Torches. That's what I was trying to do in the first place. So wood. Let's go and have a look, shall we? Damn it. It's my fault for saying I wanted to come out at night time, even though they're not nighttime creatures, but you know.
Why is that I in my base? Come on, I can get a few more trees down, surely. Come on, just hit me away with the axe. I want an axe that has a good enough knockback just to stop any creature from coming near me. So I can just mine at night time. Come on. These are the eyeless eyeballs. Which is just really, really weird, right? Right, I'll chop this last one down. Acorns. Just so I don't have to travel all the way across the world to find more. Damn it. I'm not dying out here. You hear me, I? Alright, there we go. So, now I have some wood. I can uh, do a lot of stuff. Sawmill. Not exactly what I wanted to do, but okay. Um, I wanted to make these... Now there's two of them in my house? Are they coming from the caves? I should probably put my door in here as well. I think... I could do with some more. Yeah, that'll do for now. Nice. Then I will uh, knock through to here. I don't actually know how many I have along this. Like, I mean, along the bottom of the other room. But I'll sort that out at some point. So let's make these two doors. I have 86 wood left, so that's fine. Two chairs and uh, dos tablas. Throw a table down and a chair, and make sure this is suitable housing. This housing is suitable. Okay, that's good to know. It won't be suitable as soon as I do this though. Five, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, ten. Okay. And you just need to make sure to go across by 10. How many have I done? Five. There we go. So I think the first guy to move in should hopefully be the merchant. Because of the early time that I got the gold. It turns out that that gold that I got actually is rare because, well, I only got it once in my playthrough that I've been going on for like 14 hours. And I know that's quite a while. <laughs> Just remove the roof. And I have my yo yo now as well, so I can. I didn't mean to do that. I've been misclicking quite a bit, haven't I? Right, I'll get these walls. Could probably do with some torches. If I then make this room, then the person who's moving in should arrive. 
all goes according to plan. That's all of it, right? Yeah. Then we get the table and uh, the chair. I'll put a ice torch on these tables just for safe measures. And um, this wall can go to stone. Now, hopefully that works. Let's have a look. Don't know why the guide moved into this one, but okay. They're both suitable, and we have accomplished our goal. Let's just fill in this area here. It's probably a little bit too small, but oh well, who cares? It's just a little passageway. And then I can probably make it something else in the future. So then guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to share, like and subscribe. Thanks in advance, and I'll speak to you all next time.